YouTube, how are you doing? I hope you're feeling fine. Today I got the Galaxy Prime, Grand Prime. It's a, a machine that is totally cracked. Here you can see it. I'm not sure if you can see it. The thing is totally cracked. It, it looks really, really bad. You see that? But um, it works. So I got it because I wanted to do some testing with it and uh yeah we're gonna do some testing with this phone uh but first i'm gonna clean it and you know uh, i'm gonna kind of make it mine so let's go to the kitchen today i got a donated from Mar mireille and her boyfriend her old samsung grand yo and why well, it's totally cracked. Can you see that? It's cracked and uh, we're gonna turn it on. It still works. So what we're gonna do, uh, you know, uh, I always do some cleaning first, but uh, I think it's still reasonable. And we can go ahead and install Lineage OS on this thing and all sorts of things. So we're first going to clean it a little bit. We're going to clean it with some soap. We must clean it because this can be very dirty. And here there is even some glass out of it. Oh, so we'll have to be careful. <sighs> need to be cleaned you know it's because it's, you also see it's, it's very dirty it's because of hands touching it it's very normal and then we're gonna clean it dry it and we're also gonna fix the screen in a way so I'm also cleaning it. It feels really bad here and there. <sighs> but uh, these phones are getting uh, way cheaper now. Because uh, the Android version kind of older eh? these things run on 4.4.4 and then the people read in the news that these phones you know the Samsung S4 also lost a lot of value eh? because of that even the Samsung S5 because Samsung is not bringing it higher than Android 5 and not everybody's a hacker just like us you understand It's so sad and that this film that this phone felt on the ground. I'm just gonna clean it, dry it nice. So it's dry. Oh there's lots of glass on it. Oh I can feel it. It feels really awful. So but it works. It works just fine. And the touch screen is also working you see that here and there you must press a little bit harder for instance here in the corners i think but let's go fix that hello welcome back i just got myself a piece of uh, i still had some lying around was in fact created for another phone But I'm just gonna put it on top of the screen so we can still work with it. It's not perfect, but it kind of close up the holes, eh? the cracks. You won't you won't hurt your fingers it will feel better okay so we give the phone some uh, 
display protection and we don't feel the cracks anymore it's not scary to touch it anymore and the thing functions just fine you know so thumbs up, thumbs up again there Mireya, Mireya and your boyfriend thank you you know really appreciate it because many people in the world will now see all sorts of videos about this thing so <clears throat> I must honestly tell you that I, I looked at, at the Android version and you know um, I even have an account, a Google account on this thing special for this phone it's the account of this phone and I must say that it, it, it works really nice I already rendered a video with it rendering goes goes very good I am gonna make some videos about that also found nice software uh, soon we're gonna also make a video about video editing because I complained a lot about video editing and you know it was hard to do etc etc but then again um, I, I found out that with the S4 mini you know video rendering uh, is going kind of good uh, made a complete video of 29 minutes and the rendering time was about 30 minutes so that was very acceptable but how to do crazy things with this phone what can you do if the phone is still a virgin maria what can you do to it well we could root it and to root it uh, you will need a little file uh, and you must be sure you must be very very sure that your phone is no other phone than that it's no other phone than the SM G530 FZ okay and um, the root package okay that is special for baseband version and only for this baseband version and that is the G530 FZ the name of the phone and then XXU 1BFF1 okay so that's the baseband of this Android 502 because this is Android 502 that we're gonna kind of root okay so um, in my description you will find a little zipped package and in the package you will find the root file the actual root file and you will also find Arden uh, the, the right version of Arden in, uh, in the package so what we're now gonna do in fact uh, we're gonna turn off the phone we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna put the phone into a download mode and you all know what's a download mode we have two modes we have the recovery mode that's with the volume up home and then the power and when the logo pops up we let go of these buttons and we have the download mode that's the volume button down the home pressed and we're gonna turn on if I can find the button. Where's the button? I don't see it. Oh there. And we're gonna turn off, turn on the phone, and it will go into a download mode. You see that? Now we hit the volume up, and now, now it's an actual download mode. Alright, so we go from there, and we will need, of course, a Windows computer running Windows 7. I said Windows 7. That's because I'm on Windows 7. So if I'm gonna say you can do this on Windows 10 and it goes wrong on Windows 10, then yeah, you might get pissed off with me, you know? So I'm just saying it like it is. This is a Windows 7 computer. And here you have the file. It's called CF root grand prime, grand prime multex SMG 530 FZ. Okay, you will get it zipped and I have it already unzipped. Okay, I'm gonna open the folder for you. And this is the folder. We're gonna uh, get our USB cable. Okay. And we first gonna open Arden. Right mouse click, run as administrator. We say yes. There is Arden. And we're gonna stick in. Installing the driver software and soon this light should go on You see that com7 just went on <clears throat> I hope you can kind of see it 
you know, even closer. Okay, so the, the phone is added, etc. etc. So what you're gonna do now, you're gonna select AP and you're gonna go to that same folder. Okay, to your desktop. We just copied it to our desktop. So that's exactly where we're gonna go. And then we need CF root grand prime. You see that? And here is the CF root file. All right. Oh my cam. Sorry for that. This phone is too heavy. It's too fat. Should put it on a diet. Okay, though. So there we are. I'm gonna select the CF root file. You see that? Uh, CF root, grand prime, checking, finish successfully, leave CS. So now we're gonna hit here, start. Can you see the phone? You see everything going on? Okay, there we hit the start. Setup connection here. You see that? Look at the phone. Boom. You see, we just rooted the phone peeps. Now the phone, you see the red, the red line here. It's saying your warranty is for it. Blah blah blah. So now it's gonna uh, affect root the phone. What you're seeing here, this abacadabra. Uh, sorry for that. This abacadabra, what you see here, it's rebooting in 10 seconds. Okay. There it is, the Grand Prime. Device driver was not successfully installed, it's saying up there. But everything went good. You see that? Da, 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 da. Only my tripod is complaining a little bit. Okay, so now we are rooted, ladies and gentlemen. Super Sue. Here we are, Super Sue. No, thank you. No apps selected. So that's it. I'm gonna get you out of this ridiculous tripod. Great. So the phone is rooted now. That's, that's a good thing, no? So that means that we can now install custom ROMs. Let's, let's take a look at the recovery, what happened. If we have some custom recovery installed, we're gonna uh, reboot the phone, reboot. And I'm gonna hold down power and home. Press the power on, boom, let go. And it should bring us into a recovery. Not sure which one. And it's showing uh, Android system recovery. third so in fact we are rooted but we have no recovery yet installed okay apply update adb etc etc so now we're gonna install a custom recovery